Hey, what's up? In this Wednesday workshop, I'm going to show you how to leverage HubSpot to create pop-up forms and basic automation absolutely free. All right, so uh, some of you may know HubSpot's got a pretty awesome all-in-one marketing, really just business suite nowadays. It's, it's a CRM, it's got marketing tools, sales tools, customer service tools, and more. So there's a lot of things that HubSpot can do. Now the great thing that HubSpot has been able to do over the years is to develop a lot of free tools that help businesses grow no matter how big or how, or how small, and also no matter what budget you're on because honestly you can't beat free. So to get started with, with HubSpot for free, all you need to do is go to HubSpot.com and click free. Now, as you can see, there's a couple of different options and you don't have to uh, you know, do a demo or any of that stuff. You can just get started. Now, Marketing Hub, Sales Hub, those cost some money. Service Hub costs some money, but CRM's free. From in here, this is going to actually allow you to use a lot of the tools right within your WordPress site. So you don't have to always go back to HubSpot. Now, HubSpot's a, uh, a great tool, great CRM. Uh, we have a lot of videos that we've done on HubSpot. We're gonna continue to do more. So like I said, we're not going to go into those right now. We're just going to be talking about turning our visitors into leads. I think this is a thing that a number of businesses really want to do and don't know how. So right from in here, from your WordPress site, you can click Start Now. Now it's going to walk you through. Uh, I can create a form. I can do uh, uh, collect information from non-HubSpot forms. So let's say I already have a form on this site, but it's not HubSpot. HubSpot will actually pull that information in for you. I can even set up live chat. This is something that a lot of people want to do. Now the thing with live chat is if you're going to do it, make sure you make it very human and connect with people and uh, otherwise it can be kind of frustrating. But we're going to do create a form. This is going to give us a couple of options. We have a regular form we can just put on our website, but really today we want to talk about pop-up forms. So a pop-up form would be something like this. Kind of funky here with the way the screen's popping up, but uh, there we go. Did you see that? That uh, subscribe right now for updates. I guess the formatting gets weird inside of WordPress sometimes. So we're gonna go ahead and click next. So when you're creating a pop-up form, the really the most important part is the ask. What are you asking people to do? You can ask for subscribe for email updates. You can say, hey, check out our free ebook. It, but it has to be worth the value. And you gotta make sure that the offer you're giving them is something that they're going to see is valuable enough to give you some of their information. Now you can add an image here. You can say sign up for email updates. I would uh, like to typically say download our free guide. And then in the body, you would want to talk about why they should download. In this guide, we will give you awesome insights into growing your business. Get access. Take some time to customize it. Make sure that it makes sense. Uh, you can also rebrand these with your colors. Um, this is really cool because it allows you to allow uh, you know make it look like your website. Now with the free version, you are going to get this HubSpot branding here. I don't think it's that big of a deal, um, but uh, yeah, just know that that will happen. Now if you have a guide, it's always nice to have you know an image that you can use. It will show up on the side. Uh, but if you don't have one yet, that that's fine as well. Once you're done, make sure that this goes to a form step because you don't want them to download it just yet um, if you want to collect some information. So then we're going to hit, go hit next. So on this right here, I would just put their email. This is just a simple guide because, again, I'm, I'm maybe I'm asking just for, you know, I'm, I'm giving them a little bit of value, asking for a little bit of information instead of asking for a whole lot. Again, I would put some text in the form body, something like, you know, claim your free guide today. I'm being very vague because I obviously don't have a guide to give them on this. Um, I want Make it compelling. Uh, right now I noticed I had way too many exclamation points. That can be annoying and also cause people to go, why do they have so many exclamation points? Uh, you can do a couple different things from here. Put your form text in. Uh, if you are in an area where you need to really worry about GDPR, um, this is something that's probably coming more to the United States as well. So you could always add in your GDPR consent checkbox. 
uh, your language, also the level of lead that they're going to be. If you're thinking about, okay, lead, subscriber, uh, these are the ones that you can do here in HubSpot. You can also add a CAPTCHA, that way you don't get a bunch of spam. Now the next step, as you can see, it's walking us through there. You can have a, a thank you. Um, thank you for your submission. You know, maybe you want to add a button that says download it here. And this is where you're going to need to have a uh, URL uh, for your actual guide itself. Um, what I, what I or you can do like a file download. Maybe you have like a file here in your in your HubSpot account where you can add files and you can link it there so they can just download it. So let's say uh, I'm going to actually use one of our, our older case studies just for this example. I can take my file and I can drop it right in here. And now I can connect that file, insert, and now when somebody clicks this button, they're going to download this case study. Um, so right there, I have a call out form with a pop up and they can download it, but we're not done yet. So now that you've given them the, the download, one of the great things to do is follow up with the visitors and make sure that maybe they understood the content and see if they wanted to have a further conversation with you. So in HubSpot Free, you can now create follow up emails. All you do is click follow up email and now we can write them an email. Now I can put my subject line, say, hey there. So now I've got my first email written, right? As you'll notice, I can't save it just yet. And the reason why I can't save it is that I have not added an email footer. This is critical. Uh, for HubSpot as well as other marketing automation tools because you need to be able to verify that you're not spamming people. Go ahead and click this and it's going to open up this form here for you. Two, three, four, Main Street. Fill out your real information, obviously, um, because you want to be a real human being. Once you have a footer, now you have met the requirements, right? And you have a, uh, an address people can contact you at in case they want to be removed. You have an email ready to go, and we will go ahead and hit save. Now, with this tool, I can only do one follow-up email. If I want to do a three-sequence email, that's when you have to upgrade. But at this point, what we've done is we've done a call-out box, we've added a form to it, We've created a thank you page and we've done a follow up email right within our WordPress site. And this is all using HubSpot, but we haven't even had to leave our website. Now we go to our next page and this is going to tell us where do we want us to show this. So we can show this when the URL is all pages. Um, and we can add and add some different rules, maybe an exclusion rule. Uh, don't hide the pop up on this specific page. Or I could say only is. Um, this page. Now I can say visitor information and behavior. Select segment users. So I can actually say if it's on a certain country, if they've done something specific. So I can really here break this down and decide how how I want to show it and which types of visitors I want to show it to. So it really allows us to segment pretty deeply. And then I can say when does it trigger. I can do it on half a page scroll, I can do it on an exit intent, or I can do it after a certain amount of time. Maybe you've been on a site where maybe five, 10 seconds in, a pop-up shows up. I like to use exit intent because this is if somebody's on our website, maybe they're like, ah, I don't know, maybe I'll go somewhere else, and they go to leave, well, this can pop up and say, hey, before you leave, we have something free for you. So that's really what I like to do. Next, we go to our options, we can turn them on, we can turn them off, uh, we can dismiss, so let's say if someone has turned it off, I can dismiss it for a certain amount of time. I like to do one day, just in case. And now we can preview. That's how it's going to look. There, boom. I've got my uh, my consent there. I want this free guide. They give me the email, and we're good to go. Now I hit publish. Set it live. All right. So in about 15 minutes, we've signed up for HubSpot free. We've installed it on our site. We've created our first lead gen pop-up and a follow-up email. And now we can collect leads and send an email to them to make sure that they are liking the content we're sending. So let's take a look to see what it looks like. 
here's the website boom I went to leave it did the uh, exit intent get access it's gonna go through everything that we did right there uh, I can put here my email in here yes I'm cool I want this free guide here's my guide now let me download it and in just a little bit I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get an email from myself asking me how I like the guide I just put on this website so I hope you found this workshop helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, this was allowing us to leverage HubSpot free to start doing lead generation and some basic automation on our websites. If you got any questions, like I said, comment below. And until next time, happy marketing.